tent, so I'm an interior decorators and pilot. Give them red tints, they ain't got those in 310. A West Coast customs, fuck them, and any who love them. I spend a million on bail, it's nothing. Show me his hood, I crush them. G unit, get money, and niggas got a substance. All right. I said I was going to do this. I promised I was going to do it. So I'm going to do it. And which, by the way, I'm going to do, I don't know when, but I'm doing a mini podcast on this kiddo ghoul thing, but we're going to get to that in a second. Lavender Birds podcast every Saturday, iTunes, Anchor, Spotify. Check your local podcast listings. At Lavin Birds on Twitter, at Lavin Birds Pod on Instagram. And I just realized I didn't plug the fucking social medias. But that's fine. Doesn't matter. We got the main plug out. That's all the, the other ones are just that ends to a meeting, dude. That's it. So, look, I don't know. I don't know what this is all about. Please check out this song. This is a Russian old school rap. The song is in English. All right. Like, I don't, I tried to get out of doing this shit, but, you know, when somebody asks me to do it, you know, I kind of feel bad if I don't. I know I've passed up on some of them, which I don't really feel great about. But, I mean, dude, this shit is just, let's just get into it. Oh, God damn it. I didn't do the thing. Hold on, we can't do anything yet. Hold on, hold on. Ah, oh, I should have introed it with that. That would have been great. But you can't use the intro twice. Come on. The following program is intended for mature audiences. Thank you. Welcome. Sounds like some 90s Ice Cube West Coast rap shit. Seventeen, yo, the nineteen eighties called. They want their fucking instrumental back, dude. I mean, dude, if you take the lyrics out of it, like what he's saying, and the like of impact that they have, it doesn't sound bad. I mean, <laughs> outfit aside, okay, let's do it. <laughs> he says as he's wearing... A uh, Pac-Man hoodie with a Nightmare Before Christmas skull cap on. Shut up. I'm a cool. There's a difference. No, that. No, that. But I mean, come on, dude. I've I've worn some fucked up shit in my life, but a, a red shirt with a deal that goes like this, and a bandana and a dookie rope around his neck, bro. What are we doing? Stop it. Although this does have a real vintage feel to it. 
You know what, dude? This is what this is what this is what rap would be like if the world wasn't a scary, crazy, dangerous, ugly place. Everything would be happy and awesome, and life would fucking suck. Life would suck. I honestly think maybe we need a little bit of the darkness, dude, just to balance it out. Don't get me wrong, I love me some Mr. Rogers neighborhood, bro, but, I mean, every day, every day, I don't know if I could function like that, but what does that say about me as a person? That I've gotten so used to darkness that I feel like when when I see something just happy to be, it upsets me. And that's something wrong with me, for real. Everybody wanted to know where Steve went from Blue's Clues. We just found him, dude. We just found him, motherfucker. What are you doing? Stop it. Get down. I need to... Come on, I know. Come on, bro. Where's he at? Where's he at? Come on, dude. You better shut the fuck up. Blues Clues guy. You don't even know his goddamn name. You should be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed of yourself. Where is he? This, this is the dude. This is the dude. Oh, my God. Look, you, bro, you're going to tell me? You better knock it off right now. You better knock it off right now, dude. Stop it. Do you know how many rumors there was about this dude? Do you know how many rumors there was about this dude? What are you doing? What are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? Stop it. Go into images. I am in images. Look at that. Come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck is this guy? Hey, fuck you, buddy. Oh, no. They fucked up Blue's Clues, bro. Hey, listen, man. It's not that hard, dude. All you gotta do, all you gotta, you gotta get the mail. It's mail time, right? You gotta get the mail, and that's it. You gotta sit in your thinking chair. It's been a long time since I watched it, but something stuck out. And I lost my place because I hit a button on my keyboard. So hold on, give me a second. I fucked up. Come back, Steve. I didn't mean it. I can't do that with this camera. Check out more of their work. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. We're doing that. Little peep. Fuck little peep, bro. That, you know what, dude? That's, uh, shut up. Shut up. I don't care. Eat my ass. I don't give a fuck, bro. Guys, I got my friends that we hang outside. Is he wearing DCs, bro? Where 
Hold on, wait a minute. All right, ignorant American question. Is this done on purpose, the old style? Are those, those are Russian cops? No way, they look like mall cops, dude. That's hilarious. Those guys will probably kill you and put you in that goddamn trunk of that Hyundai right there. They don't fuck around. The question I was going to ask was, is this just catching up over there? I know that there can be, there could be a culture, uh, delay. There could be a culture delay. Like, everybody else, we get shit late, I think, in comparison to other places like Japan or something like that. Something like that is... Today I can't hit the little cash now but then from the girl to notice him and to have some friends because kids work just like that. Judging by the looks and the things you have in the movies get shown the life that will never live. That's why lots of them draw the dreams and balance the beer and just talk just to positive and learn a lesson. Because whichever profession you choose, you'll be tired of cash families. They're spending time together, cheese. Here's a smartphone, get the hell out, baby, please. Don't you see? I want your telly off, waste an L money at the club and you're Uh, hold on, you, the dude makes the dude makes sense. This that stuck out to me. Can you really blame the kids for the silly games when they're by themselves and they got nobody? Dude, that's a that's a theme. That's a theme in rap music. Like there's. Jada has a really good line in a log song where he says, powerful as fuck too, bro. He goes, a single parent home will raise you to hate your father. Jesus. Like, you don't even, you don't even think about shit like that until you hear it in a fucking song. And I'm like, fuck. There, there was, you know, I think Sheik actually put some shit out where he said, Sheikah Styles, one of the two, if not both of them, were basically, you know, they were like, what do you, what do you expect to happen? Or no, I think that was Jada too. Their moms is, their moms that work, their pops is gone and living with iron. Yeah, basically the same thing. All right, honestly, I can't hate this. If you're into Will Smith, if you're into Will Smith type of rap, like if you can get jiggy with it, dude, this is this is for you, son, LBX. I want to just see what else do they got going on. Does it all sound like that? This is a song about um, how to raise girls. You see, girls are very, very naughty these days. And they have vagina. Oh, do you know they have vagina? Yes, they really do. And in fact, they think it's a credit card. They try to get as much wares as. the fuck at a 12 dude what are you doing to be fair i don't know how old this guy is but fuck bro what the hell so i sing a little song for girls to sit alone sing along because i prefer the bad boys that boys are so wicked make a bad stick of those boys and you cry oceans when you open up the soul of them they don't really care because the place of interest is you know 
nowhere, he's got the same shit again, again. And now you sit and cry, I wish you had a dime, but don't cry. Cause there's nothing to cry for, don't die. Cause there's nothing to die for, don't cry. Cause there's nothing to cry for. You know when this dude reminds me of dead serious? Not even, just not joke. He reminds me of Slug and who the fuck was the other guy, dude? There was a second, there was a second person that I was thinking of. Not the dude from Incubus, what the fuck? Where did that guy come from? It has nothing to do with this. Fuck. I don't know, there was another, there was another dude. But look, I could see him, I could see the appeal to this. This is a little bit too relaxed for me. You know what I mean? But then again, you know, I'm I'm very picky with what I listen to. And it's it's rare that I'm chilled out enough to be able to sit and listen and enjoy something that is this calm, you know. But I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna hate on it. I've certainly heard worse. You know, I'm just interested in knowing if if they're just on the old school vibe. I mean, because we've heard we've heard their gangster rap or whatever is close to that, so we know that exists, and it's updated beats and all that shit. Is this guy just choosing to do? Old school type rap. I don't know. But. I mean either way. I appreciate. Uh, the suggestion. For me to check this out. Hopefully. You. Enjoyed this. I. Again I don't. I don't hate it. But I'm not going out of my way. To listen to it either. But that's not. That's not personal. That's not personal. There's just, you know, because to be honest with you, I don't like, I don't like Will Smith type rap. You know what I mean? It's it's because I'm I've never been a wholesome person. You know, I don't relate to I don't relate to that at all. But I'm warped. I think it's been too long. There's no saving me. Although I think there would be some people that I could probably show this to that would really enjoy it because they would be like, "Oh, this is not this is not anywhere near as as bad as the rest of the shit that is out there." But look, I've rambled on long enough. It's already twenty minutes long. These videos are supposed to be short. Don't get excited. I'm not back to doing this. The kiddo ghoul thing was supposed to happen back in October. And it didn't. So it just happened yesterday. And I was supposed to do this. Three days ago. I don't know why I thought it was a week already. I was supposed to do this three days ago. And I'm just getting to it now. But if you have not checked it out yet. I just dropped last night. Fucking. Uh, I don't. Parasite. Kiddo Ghoul's Parasite. The other video from him, the other song of his, rather, is Afterbirth, so you can listen to the fucking commentary on that. <clears throat> I'm sure it'll be, we'll, we'll talk about this more, because I'm about to record a fucking mini podcast on that. But look, appreciate the suggestion, Saturdays, laughing at birds, go fuck yourselves. <laughs>